Max, last week you told us that Sammy Rodrada was uh, rehabbing and getting ready for a return. First things first, can you explain your little porky pies to us? Right. Inside knowledge, <laughs> we should be getting the inside scoop here. And we've I been wanna... absolutely <laughs> pulled the ball over our No, eyes, no, 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 no. Wait, I'm on need to know basis with people like that. He's so, he's like, yeah, he's just a different level. He gets managed a bit differently. I just, I just get to told what I'm told, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, it turns out, <laughs> turns out he's got a mechanical issue with his uh, with his knee, some kind of um, cartilage um, problem. Um, but I'm not, I don't know, I don't know it intimately. I don't know what the actual injury is or what's going on there. Right, all but, yeah. that matters is we saw him. He put up a picture of him and then put up a picture of a Caesar salad in the hospital on Instagram. So he's uh, he must have been on the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. Oh, <laughs> That's it. Bless that would him. be the whole time. Oh. But yeah, that's I, I honestly, lads, I genuinely wasn't trying to um mislead you. He needs to get some of them poor Paul leaves brought in, mate. I can yeah, uh, the I've old got, banana I've got a guy. leaves up <laughs> up the mountain, you know. Have you heard about those two guys in Fiji? Mate, I've heard about all sorts of them. Look, the boys here are swear by them. They're trying to get hold of them. I remember going over and playing against Rassing, and one of the Tongans is like pulling a load of leaves out his bag, that, giving them to Ben Tamafuna, like, yeah, I brought these with me. And they're like these, are they, from what I gather, they call them the pawpaw leaves, and I'm pretty sure it's the leaf of a papaya. Okay, yeah, but Semessa, when I was at Bath, explained to me that these, there were these two guys who were like sort of injury clairvoyants, and they can like scan your body and stuff, and then they sort of tell you what you have to do. And like they, they they treat you accordingly with the leaves. I don't know I don't know it well enough, but this was Mate, a long time ago when he explained this. Because someone to me. someone broke their leg. Who was it? One of the New Zealand players who uh, was a uh, Fijian broke his leg and was needed to come back for the World Cup, didn't he? Remember? Can't remember his yes. name, but he did it and went away, went to Fiji, wrapped his Irish, body up in purple leaves. Why Why Sally Noholo? Yeah. yeah, that's the what. Yeah, Noholo. Yeah, that's it was it. him. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's that's the very. I need to, I need to get back into that and actually find out exactly what goes down there because it was fascinating. I was like, this is madness. They've they've got some pretty good remedies. Um, we're going completely off topic here. But... <laughs> Sorry, this, no, no, it's interesting. It's interesting. Go on, genuinely, <laughs> completely off so topic. But yeah. Nico Matawalu, my my favorite Fijian ever. Yeah, told me a story that when they were when they were younger, right, and it deadly serious. Without we're gonna have to get him on at some point as well. Absolutely, some character. <laughs> but he told me that when they were younger, to stop themselves from getting a cold, they used to get chilies, grind them up, and put them in like a muslin cloth. Grind them, grind them until the oil, the the chili oil, used to drip out the end of them, and the kids would line up, pull their pants down, and they would drop. A, a couple drops of the chili oil on their asshole, and it would <laughs> and, it, and it would burn. And then he said, and then we just like run to the river and jump in the river, and and oh, it's so hot, it's so hot. You nailed that impression, by the way. <laughs> and that I was, I was sat there going, Nick, so you you you're right, are you sure? He's like, yeah, because he's had a cold one day. I haven't uh, and I said, right, come on then, get the chilies out. I'll uh, I'll get down there for you. <laughs> No. Don't be stupid. And he reckons, yeah, when they're kids, they put chili oil up the bum hole and it's meant to stop, it's meant to warm them up and stop them getting the cold. Anyway, Ryan, congrats. 35-24 victory against the Sharks. Uh, first matchup with a South African side since you famously said they had zero banter. Any in-game reminders about that? Nah, they mustn't listen to the pod. <laughs> I don't, they, they obviously don't care. Um, no, they were actually quite pleasant men. It was, uh, it was an all right game. We... Uh, it's easy when you know I think we scored four four tries in the first half so we had a bonus point again in at half time so you can't then slag people off and start giving them shit because there's an easy comeback mate look at the scoreboard <laughs> so I think they were nice because of that maybe um, but no they were right caught up with a couple of them after their captain was a really nice bloke who stood in for Khaleesi we go and give him a bottle of whiskey afterwards to knock back on the plane but um, yeah I think we'd 50 minutes, we'd scored six tries and then you know what it's like, Max. You've been in a couple of games of those where you switch off a little bit. Uh, so we did that. Um, 
but yeah, they've you know six tries, couple of good try scores, um, some really good tries. Then any other questions? <laughs> All right, fine. Let's go to that. I mean, anybody who watched the game would have seen that there were some incredibly well worked tries. There really were. Yes. Uh, yours, would you, would you put that in that category, Ryan? Sort of like stole the ball off someone as he was going over the line and rolled <laughs> rolled over and fell over the line myself. So I could say I stole it off someone else. But hey, listen, tries a try. I'm chuffed to bits. They don't get many of them either, Max. I'm a man that find myself helping people over the line yeah you open the doors yeah rather than walk through them i get you one of those blokes who just takes the ball out and just gives it a little tip just before the line put mm. through the hole Un, a, a very selfless man that's what a leader should be so yeah. that's why i don't score many tries <laughs> now let's move on to an alleged bite uh, by a stormers player oh, yeah. on monster hooker niall scannell yeah. Ryan, what's the face, Ryan? There's something oh, cool. Uh, I'm, 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 hesi- I'm hesitant to tell it, and we might have to take this bit out because I don't know if he'll be okay with me telling the story. But Nico Matawalu was <laughs> he got allegedly uh, he he had a he had a hearing. We played Munster, and he got done for biting. And uh, he said his defence was, "Oh, my mouth was just open, and his arm hits my teeth." <laughs> Oh, and it like kicked off like the monster boys are like, you dirty little bastard came steaming in like it kicked off massively um and he's just at the back like what what i didn't even do anything <laughs> uh, well continuing the theme uh, dean richards criticized the rfu and the referee for sending off tom penny uh, for eye gouging jimmy gopeth in the newcastle versus wasps match uh, saying there wasn't any deliberate contact with the eye gopeth was the instigator in your in your opinion does it matter who the instigator was if it ultimately leads to an eye gouge Oh, that's all right then. He, he instigated it. So if he stuck his fingers in his eyes after, it's his fault. No, you can't. You can't go that way. Um, I've had a, I've had a few eye gouges. I've, not I've not eye gouged. Sorry, someone has eye gouged me. I've had a couple of fingers in eyes. It's an easy mistake to make. People say. I mean, what for you guys? What is is that one the the lowest to the low? Is is biting the lowest or or Hamish bringing up how you cop flicked him? You know what what is the lowest? No, I reckon eye gouge, like a decent eye gouge, you take someone's vision. I don't mind getting, like, yeah. if I got a laceration for being bitten, at least I can sort of heal from that. But if you take someone's sight, that's pretty, like, these are big, powerful dudes. If, like, if you went for it, you could definitely do some sort of permanent damage. Uh, right, boys, let's, let's, let's move on from biting and let's. eye gouging. Uh, Leicester, uh, now unbeaten in, in their first three matches, Who's really impressed you and their team? And, and how good of a job do we think that Borswick's been doing? Go on, Max, you take this away, son. You know who I... Well, to be fair, in that, t- that team they put out against Sarah is a sort of second string, which makes it even more impressive. Um, but George Ford's looking class, but he's always been class, so that's no surprise. But he's on the front foot, so life's easy. But that just goes to show how much the pack's doing. And that Nick Dolly, I don't know where he's come from. they got Montoya and Young's. But that Dolly fella is coming and he's doing an absolute job. Fair play to him. He's class, mustard. And obviously, um, Lehmanberg and Raffle have been so good. Um, Martin, mate, they're all on fire, to be honest. Yeah, all the guys you sort of associate with Leicester, the faces, they're the guys doing it. Genji's been a breath of fresh air at captain, I suppose. Everyone's going to be sort of humming around that. But mate, Fair play to him, mate. They've been, they've been through a bit of a tough time the last few years and made a few changes and you could see at the end of the game how much it meant to a May. Like they were absolutely buzzing for it. Yeah. It, and they probably, I mean, I, I only watched parts of it. I saw some of the highlights as well. Probably didn't deserve it. I think Saracens controlled the game, but like, as long as you're in those games and you stick in them, you got a chance. Yeah. You got a chance. And there was all, all the chat afterwards was you're actually better off without the ball. Cause again, it looked like torrential rain there. Um, so old Borthwick seems to have, uh, Done a job there, eh? 